All right, guys, so I've got a body weight lunge. So with a lunge, I want you to remember three things. Firstly, when people lunge, they tend to lunge in line. They'll put their feet right in line with each other and it gives you no lateral stability. So I wanna make sure that when you lunge, you've got a small gap between your feet, just like when you walk. If you walk, you don't walk in line, so you don't lunge in line either, okay? So just making sure you've got a nice small gap between your feet, just like when you walk, that way you've got some lateral stability. Second thing is, as you lunge, when people lunge, they'll generally, they'll take too short of a stride and really congest themselves up in this area, all right? Ideally, what you wanna do is lunge so that you've got a 90 degree angle in the front leg, a 90 degree angle in the hips, and a 90 degree angle in the rear leg. That way, you're all nice and boxed out and it's nice and stable. But as you can see, when I stand, but that is actually quite a, a long stride. So you just wanna make sure that you're taking a nice long stride so that when you get down to the bottom, you're nice and boxed out, okay? That's the second thing. The last thing is just making sure that you're staying upright during a lunge and not leaning forward too much. I see a lot of people with, that will really lunge just on that front leg. It's really not as stable as it could be. And I don't find that I can produce as much strength if I just lunge on that front leg. I like to lunge straight up and down and then take my step forward, okay? That way I can use that back leg for power and a little bit more glute engagement on that back leg as well, okay? So coming back here, like I said, three things. Nice long lunge, a little bit of a gap between your feet and then stay upright, okay? And then gentle tap of that knee. 